Good morning, guys, and welcome to the Caravan Salon 2019 in Dusseldorf. It's an RV exhibition. Don't be fooled by the small number of people around because, in fact, we were here at closing time yesterday and the place was a completely different world, packed with German grandpas and their grandkids, obsessed with all these motorhomes, and there were so many of them. It was absolutely fantastic. You might have seen RVs like this on the internet before, maybe some pics or gifts or something. Those RVs with the hydraulic parking bay have always looked like something from the future. Well, <laughs> it just so happens that they do exist. Here, this is the Faulkner Performance S with a hydraulic parking bay. It's one of the world's most expensive RVs. It's not a show car or some kind of mock-up. It's a real RV that came here on its own and the car, it's real too. This is our review. Let's get started. So let's begin with the most exciting feature, the hydraulic parking bay. That's right, it has its own parking bay. Almost any sports car can easily fit in it. It can be any car of up to five meters in length, which include a number of Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and even some Mercedes. This parking bay is a Faulkner patented invention. It's unique, reliable, and they guarantee its quality. Your car is tucked away inside the bay when not in use, and it can be taken out when needed. It's better to drive around a European city in a smaller car rather than uh, this cruise ship on wheels. It's got loads of various compartments. Don't be too hard on me, guys, it's my first time. A barbecue can be found inside here. See that? Let's close it up. Okay, watch out. It's huge. Wow. You can choose from two types of engines. The RV can have a Volvo or a Mercedes engine, but they're saying that the Volvo 460 HP, a bus engine by the way, is more common. Here we have two interesting things about the RV. First of all, it's got an extendable wall section with a maximum of 50 centimeters. That's according to the safety regulations. This five-star hotel on wheels is 12 meters in length and 3.8 meters in height, which is a lot. So bear that in mind when going under bridges and other places. And it's two and a half meters wide. Naturally, there's a cassette toilet, just like the one we've shown you in the other RV, but this one is way bigger. Also, it's got a fresh water tank with a capacity of 1,000 liters. Let's go inside. I keep telling you about this RV for hours, I swear. By the way, you can sit down here because the plasma TV is in the sideboard. We'll get around to that later. But it's one of the best designed, the most expensive, and the most gorgeous RVs. The driver's seat. Seriously, it looks like a sofa in a five-star cinema. They're huge. It must be hard not to fall asleep in it while driving. It reminds me of those huge massage chairs. Once again, it's got the Volvo 460 HP engine. Over here, the Volvo iShift gearbox. Super convenient when it's on your left. The same as Volvo trucks and buses. The most exciting thing about the cockpit is the control center, particularly designed by Faulkner. It keeps track of, oh, don't worry, I was allowed to touch this. So it keeps track of all the different systems in the RV, absolutely everything, the tire pressure, fresh water level in the tank, some electrical stuff, literally anything. Here, you can see loads of different cabinets. You've got everything you need. Everything is perfectly fixed and stays secure inside, especially on the go. You can store loads of things. Over here, some CDs. There are so many compartments to store your stuff. There's already a remote control, some cables, walkie-talkies. Guys, anything. Here it comes. Perfect. Look at this. Sony. Sony Bravia. Must be a new one. Super flat screen. And away it goes. <laughs> They've got the dining area right here. There are the windows, the lighting, some window blinds. What else? This is the kitchen area. Well, pull this lid out. Everything works just fine. The sink is big. There's a faucet for drinking water. Let me remind you, guys, the capacity of the freshwater tank is a thousand liters. This is the stovetop with three hobs. Over here, the Siemens microwave. 
in multiple languages, of course. What's this? A fridge? It is. Oh boy. It's real. True German sausage. Despite the variety of areas, every inch of space is well planned and organized. Now, the bedroom. Come here. Before we have a closer look at the bedroom, let's have a quick look at the shower room first. It's simply huge. Super spacious. Over here, heated toilet with a remote control. Even my old Nokia cell phone had fewer buttons. <laughs> Just think about it. A toilet remote. What the hell is this thing? The bedroom is enormous. It's so big that you can easily walk around the place. The bed is roughly 160 centimeters. Okay. Cool. And now, my favorite part. This huge skylight is the best. This is the insect screen, voila. You can leave the skylight open all night and keep out all the mosquitoes. And you can do this as well. Wow, there are several solar panels on the roof. Cool. There are bedroom doors and the bathroom doors. You can close them if you want. Of course, this RV may not seem spacious enough to fit all your buddies in. It's really not a problem. That whole area can easily be transformed into a bed. You just fold down the table, put a mattress on it, and three people can easily sleep there. You can do the same with the kitchen area. And also, another bed is hidden over there, like the one in the Mercedes, remember? The bed slides down from the ceiling, and you have two more sleeping berths. Let's put it like this, guys. Two people here, three people there, two people over there, and two people in the bedroom. It just needs a little bit of squeezing together, and ten people will fit in, no problem, and you can go road tripping. Fuck the mobile, do things right. And if you're after an RV, I think they're just right for you. Are these edible? They are. Maybe I can have one. Wow, yeah, that was really something. But you know, the only thing that's missing is some kind of fancy entrance or cool door or something. But safety and reliability always come first. That's why Faulkner Mobile's vehicles go through so many various quality control checks. Guys, now the prices. You've got some options depending on your taste. It could be an RV with various inside or outside features or anything you want. But the custom model will cost you around one and a half million euros. Not cheap. But if it seems too much, then I know a great alternative. 35 euros and it's yours. <laughs> Definitely recommend it. The Faulkner Performance S is the most expensive, well-designed, and as far as we know, the most reliable RV on the entire planet. We'd love to read your comments. See you. Bye.